Going to change the oil today in a Cummins owning RV OG 5500. So I thought I'd go through all the steps that I do in order to do this. So hang in here. Okay, the first thing we got to do is take this off, the cover off, and it just pops off. I usually just lay it on top. And then we're going to have to take the filter loose underneath here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is drain the oil. And uh, the oil drain is right here. So I'm going to put a funnel in down here with a jug, and we'll drain the oil off. Okay, we'll go ahead and open this drain valve up. Start letting this oil drain out. Kind of drains slow, but um, it'll take us a little while to get the all of it drained out. So we'll be back once it all gets. Uh, kind of drained out here and uh, we'll be back okay now that I've got the oil train changed or not changed but drained I've closed off the oil uh, valve now it's time to take the filter off I've already loosened it so I'm just going to unscrew the filter here and then I'll be uh, putting the new filter on before I put the oil in. I like to use the uh, oil filter, the Onan oil filter uh, for this. It's the uh, number 1220836. And um, I'll put a little bit of grease on the top here. <coughs> and then the oil that I use is the uh, Shell Rotella T4 15 weight 40. And this seems to be a good quality oil and so I'm going to grease the filter down, reinstall the filter, and then uh, we'll start putting the oil in. Okay, I got the uh, funnel in place. I'm getting ready to pour in two quarts of oil. It takes two quarts with a new filter. So I'll just uh, start pouring it in uh, slowly, and uh, we'll uh, be putting the cap back in and check the oil level once we finish putting all the oil in. So, be right back. Well, I got it all done. I started it and um, for, ran it for just a short time because I did not put oil in the filter before I put the new filter in because it's always a mess when you do that. So I just kind of started it briefly to get some oil to uh, go ahead and feed into the filter then I turned it off and then I topped off the uh, remaining half a quart of oil into the uh, into the the oil entry area there and uh, then I just fired it up and let it run a little bit now all I got to do is put the side back on I've got to go make another uh, information pack uh, sheet to put on the filter so I know what hours uh, I changed the uh, oil recorded in my book and then uh, I think we'll be uh, good to go so I'll go ahead and snap the cover back on and we'll be good okay I've written down my uh, oil change <clears throat> uh, how many hours it was and when the next oil change is due I'm gonna change it at about 600 hours I write down what the oil is and the oil filter so I know right off the bat. So anyway, um, I last oil change was May of 19 and it's been almost a year since I changed the oil and I probably had 200 hours on it maybe closely or something like that. Uh, I usually change it anywhere between 150 and 200 somewhere in there. I check the oil regularly to make sure that uh, I'm, I'm at the full level and mine was at full level so uh, it, it these, this little generator doesn't seem to use oil so uh, it may be because I've got a good quality oil that I'm using but anyway 
it's a pretty easy process as you can tell uh, if you got any questions just uh, put it in the comments below if you like this video like it share it if you'd like and um, we'll be uh, putting something else on at a later date so everybody have a great time and a blessed day and uh, that's how you change the oil in a 5500 owning generator in a class a motorhome everybody have a great one see you later bye